Hi everyone, my name is Madeline. My preferred pronouns are she, her, and hers. I am a art education major. I am originally from the East Coast. I'm from Massachusetts. Um, I really enjoy sewing, drawing, and painting in my free time. My background is in fashion design. Uh, something I also really love to do, I love to be outside. I love to camp, I love to hike, and I also love to skateboard. Um, I really enjoy trying the city's food. Uh, it's very different from the East Coast. I've been really enjoying it. Um, for, the in, for the online class, um, this is my first time doing an online class, so I uh, really love in-person um, classes. I love to feel engaged with my peers. I love to engage with the professor. So I think it's really important for the online class to feel really connected, uh, to feel organized so I can know my assignments, know exactly where everything is, um, what the task is at hand, um, deadlines. Um, so I wish we could be in person. So how do we get that all on the computer. Um, I hope that happens. Uh, so for the first video, the instructor video, I learned that there will be opportunities to integrate special education into the general education space. Um, the second video, special education disability categories, the 13 of them are autism, deaf blindness, deafness, emotional disturbance, hearing impairment, intellectual disability, multiple disabilities, orthopedic impairment, other health impairment, specific learning disability, speech language impairment, um, traumatic brain injury, visual impairment. For the third and fourth video, the first question is, what are the eligibility rules for special education services? The first one is, they must have a documented disability in some area. Uh, the second one is the disability must have an adverse or a negative effect on a school performance, on their school performance. Uh, the second question is describe two common issues associated with adolescence and disability. In uh, Dr. Lisa Thornton's TED Talk, she talks about the relationship between a child and their parent and the conflict that happens. So she really um, uh, embraced autonomy. So the example was a parent, um, a child really wanted to go to a school dance. The parent did not want the child to go. They wanted to keep them home, keep them safe, keep them close. Um, but the child really wanted to go. So they allowed the child to make that decision for themselves and go to the school dance, which allowed them to have confidence. Um, the second one is um, failure. So she described it's really important for a parent to allow their child to fail. Uh, allow them to have space to figure things out for themselves. So this example was tying their shoes um, and allowing them to approach it their own way, even if they fail at it multiple times. It's really important for them to discover their own approaches at life. Um, and then the reading, why is people's first language important? Um, by respecting someone's first language, you are respecting how they would like to be preferred to. Um, an example is with autism. Um, someone might be preferred as identity first, which would be, um, they'd be preferred to as an autistic person, or they would uh, prefer to be person first, which would be a person with autism. Um, another thing is, if you are acknowledging the person first, not the disability, um, this allows to help remove all stigmas. Well, those are my answers and the questions. I look forward to meeting you all soon. Bye.